Hi, in this video we're going to be entering grades into PowerTeacher Pro. To enter grades into PowerTeacher Pro, first you need to make sure that you have grabbed grades from a supported platform such as Google Classroom or Canvas. You can do that by navigating to the assignment, clicking on the Grade Grabber extension, and clicking Grab. And it will pull the grades displayed that have grades recorded. Next, on PowerTeacher Pro, open up the class that you want to enter grades for. Choose the assignment. Go to your Grade Grabber extension. Click on Enter. Grade Grabber will populate the grades based on the grades that were loaded. And you will get a pop up that tells you which grades were successful and which grades failed, if any. Press OK on that. In the Grade Grabber extension, if you ever want to view which grades are loaded into Grade Grabber's memory, click the number icon in the upper left hand corner of the extension. This will give you a pop up with the student's name and the grade that's loaded into memory. You can also load grades by using the score sheet in PowerTeacher Pro. I'm not going to save changes here. When you're using the score sheet view, you have to click in the column of the assignment you want to enter the grades for. So if I click on this vocabulary assignment, click my Grade Grabber extension, click Enter, it will populate these grades into that column for me and give me a result when it's finished. Now also, if Grade Grabber appears to be running slow or it's not entering the grades correctly, you might need to adjust the speed that Grade Grabber fills the grades in. You can do that by clicking on the Grade Grabber extension, click your settings icon, and click Advanced Settings. Here you'll be presented with a Power Teacher fill speed. And depending on the speed of your computer, you may want to speed it up or slow it down. The default is 300. You could change this value down to around 75 to make it run faster, or a bigger number will make it run slower, such as 500 or 1000. Sometimes if the computer is slow, it may need to be slowed down on the fill speed because the computer can't keep up with the grade entering. After you make this change, click the Save button and then go back to your PowerTeacher Gradebook and enter the grades.